pox et bonum, peace and everything good. You will notice that we that I'm in the uh, the chapel here at the university. Uh, I thought it'd be an appropriate place uh, today to begin to uh, do a short reflection on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving season uh, begins for us here at the university, the uh, beginning of the end of the fall semester. And so we know that once Thanksgiving uh, is over with, you'll be coming back uh, for just two weeks before you begin the Christmas uh, holiday season. But as we look at Thanksgiving, and I believe very strongly, it's an opportunity for us to really uh, stop and think, what is it that I'm really grateful for? And not only what I'm really grateful for, but what are the things that I take for granted that I need to be grateful for? Now, I don't know how many of us really have stopped and thought about you know, the gift of our senses, the, gift, the ability to hear, the ability to see, the ability to smell and the ability to taste, and also the ability to touch. Uh, those senses open us up to the mystery of the world around us, the mystery of ourselves, the mystery of life. But how often do we really stop and appreciate what our senses do for us and how they gift and bless us uh, with knowledge and understanding? But also, what are the other things that uh, we take for granted that we should be thankful for. Uh, for myself, I think of uh, my family. Sometimes I, take, I just take them for granted. They're always there to support me and, and to love me. But my friends and my peers, I don't know how often I go out of my way to express gratitude uh, for their support, their friendship, uh, their love uh, for me and my life. But also there's other things that I know that I often don't think about that I need to be grateful for uh, within my life. Uh, I'm fortunate uh, ever since uh, I was raised that I've always had shelter. I never had a want for, for housing at all. I've always had food uh, to be able to eat. I take for granted how, at, uh, how I have access to water, not only for, for drinking, but for, for cleansing. Uh, I know I take for granted electricity. Most of the time we take that for granted until we don't have it. And then our life goes really in haywire because we depend upon that so much. But it's something that are we, you know, we need to be grateful for, that we have that, those gifts because there's many places in the world that don't have those. And yet I know that we oftentimes can take those for granted. Uh, one of the things that St. Francis and St. Clair uh, really uh, developed in their life was a, a real stance of gratitude. They were they gradually began to see how God is blessing and gifting them in every moment of their life in so many different ways, in some of the ways I just have mentioned. Uh, our call, especially here at Quincy University as a Francisc institution, is hopefully we develop in our lives a stance of gratitude in that our, our main prayer eventually becomes a prayer of gratitude, a thank you. De colores.